Oh, guys. Oh, I'm blocked up right now. Oh, my God. I'm suffering. Oh, all day has been like this. <sighs> what can I do to, like, help myself? Should I get some laxative? Should I, you know, have some prune juice? No. Let's watch some scary videos. And that way, I will poop my pants. Okay? Let's get into it. Waka 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 waka. If I had an intro, I would be going. Waka 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 Okay, so today, we're going to watch Slap Tam. Creepy videos that should come with a warning. Let's go. How you doing? I'm counting. Oh, yeah. This is slapped hand. Oh my god, did he yeah, shave his head? He shaved his head? Oh my god, I didn't realize. It's a look. It's a look. Uh, I'm heading that way soon. If you know, um, my hair is kind of thinning out. Anyway. But as always, before we dive in, remember to hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Subscribe. Like subscribe this. to me as well, please. Thank you. Slipped him. What's going on here? Oh my god. It's time to have dinner. The thought of having a poltergeist in your home is terrifying. This is a hungry, hungry ghost. Although it's said that poltergeists aren't always violent, these spirits can still supposedly torment their victims by making noises and moving objects. Oh my god. YouTuber Sylvia C began noticing strange occurrences in her home after playing with a Ouija board. Mate, you YouTube just gotta channel. leave. Like, she why are you still there? Document some of the activity Holy. Since occurred. In this clip, it's fairly I'm gonna goose people all over. Present wants to make itself known. Oh yeah, that, that that's just normal, isn't it? It's just, that's just like, you know, a Tuesday afternoon. Oh, la di da I'm having a cup of tea. Mm, cup of tea? Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, oh, honey. The cabinet's, you know, banging again. The door's opening and, oh, yeah, you know, that that's just standard. We know that, honey. You should know what you're talking about. Why are you telling me all these things? These are just normal, aren't they? Keep an eye on the cupboard door. Uh, I can see. I can see. Slapped. Things open, then shuts. Oh, really? Is that is that what's going on? Oh, my God. Watch what happens when the woman asks, I had no idea. Me out of your house. I think it's a ki ghost kitten. Do you want me out of this house or do you want me to stay? I think if they wanted you out the house, they'd be moving you. Presence appears to answer by moving a can on the kitchen counter. These, this ghost just is hungry. Is moving utensils, pots and pans. It, you know, it's opening the cupboard door that has the snacks in it. Peanut butter, jam, you know, all those kind of stuff. The dude's just hungry. Feed the guy. Boing, boing. I love the music. This kind of thing happens in her kitchen all the time. This is Why are you still there? This clip, which shows the poster hiding behind a partition while pointing the camera towards the sink. Why are there staircase banisters in your window? Weird. Oh my God. Why does your partition in your house have blinds? Weird. What's moving? Oh, oh the knife's the moving. moving you can see the the ghost is had enough. Okay, you're not feeding the guy. Of course, he's gonna get a bit miffed about it. Wants to get the knife, you know, hold you up and say, "Hey, lady, can you make me a pancake, please?" God. Damn. Spoon and four moving by themselves. Again, oh the dude's just, he's always in the kitchen. He's always in the oh stack God. cupboards. Beat the guy. Oh, the knife's, the knife's moving now. My friend, the area point the, the camera at the knife, please. Magnets or strings. There's nothing. I'm not faking this. Look, there's nobody under there. There's nobody under the counter. Okay, the knife could just fly right at you. The woman's voice clearly sounds distressed throughout the footage. Fair enough. Leave. Sell the house. Rent a new place. The guy wants to butter his bread. Those like look like bread baskets. I would pack my bags. I would pack my bags. And I will go to the nearest hotel motel holiday inn and I will stay there, okay? I will just forget that I ever lived in this godforsaken place where the pots and pans were moving by themselves, okay? No one wants to live there. No one. 
only ghosts, only poltergeists want to live there, not alive people, okay? Get the get out of there. Okay. We've seen enough. Thank you. YouTuber Dark Ghost Paranormal explores places Dark Ghost that Paranormal. Would never dare. Okay. As this clip begins, he explains that he was sent the coordinates to this house in the mail. I'm sure I've seen this guy before. The sender claimed that elderly people used to live there and that they were plagued by strange activity, especially in the basement. <laughs> you ever see a Breaking Bad? Honey, where's all the money? When he comes out of the basement. Or under the, the floor. The residents supposedly heard unusual sounds, disembodied conversations, and even saw doors opening by themselves throughout the home. God. After the owners passed away, the house was left to relatives. However, they never moved in, and it's remained empty ever since. Fair in enough. In the video, we see the investigator thoroughly exploring the space with a flashlight as he sets up some cameras to record in the background. That, that'd be such a nice holiday home. Don't you think? Beautiful place. Beautiful. Take the family there for the for the summer holidays. Huh? Beautiful. There's a nice, ripe little toilet just there. You know, seat. It's your choice. Seat on or off. That's, that's the kind of luxurious place we live in. Right? Uh, we have a holiday home. You know, you could just knock out a window or whatever you like. It, we live a rich life. It's a beautiful holiday home. How did these people find these places? I mean, if you're an eBayer, best to find these places. That's a nice little cabinet you could sell. Make a quick buck. As Gary Vee says, you know, sell your soul. Is when things start to get a little Ooh, creepy. Something happened with the toilet seat. Did I call it? Oh, no, it's not the toilet seat. What the? Oh, it's a glass or something. There you go. <laughs> the glass was like, I'm out of here. Whoopee piece of glass slides off the counter and shatters on the floor it's not a piece of glass it is a glass a tumbler a uh, a short glass not a piece of glass then the entire room starts to rumble and shake bloody hell around. holy that what the f Oh my god. The whole room the whole room was shaking. That was insane. What the it was just an earthquake, right? Or was the ghost really upset? <laughs> He's like, where's my squash? I've not had my orange squash today. Where is my squash? Okay. Why are these glasses empty? I need to drink. Shoutings for his mom or something. Mom, where's my squash? And then, no squash. So glass goes on the floor. And then, temper tantrum! Destroy the house. Oh my god, that's insane. An earthquake because it doesn't affect the rest of the house. Eh? The weird thing about this whole thing is that wall seems to be fake. Cause like even when the guy walked past it, it was like just he he made the whole thing shake when he walked past. I don't know. It just it's very odd. I I, do, I don't know what to say about it. Next, the investigator uses a device in an attempt to contact any place. Is just what's he doing? And they should have just left. Oh my god. Eerily, he receives a message telling him to open the basement. Oh, it's in Russia or something. What is wrong? Why is... what? Bravely, it's, it's freaking cold. I can see his breath. What are you doing, man? I mean, Russia's probably a very cold country as it is anyway, but from all the all the dash cam footage I've ever seen, it's always in a snowy place. But what, what man? Get, I mean, thanks for the video and everything. You know, I'm reacting to it, but 
Jesus. Be at home. Be warm. Be safe. You're in a derelict building. About to have the roof collapse on your head. And a ghost who ha hasn't had a, his squash is getting angry at you. And stupidly, he decides to do it. He opens the hatch and ventures cautiously into the darkness. Why? What's wrong with you? Why would Suddenly, you do that? God. Take a listen. Oh no. Oh mother fool. It sounds like an eerie screech. <laughs> Freaking hell. Unwilling to find out who or what made the noise, he wisely leaves the basement. As it does. However, it seems that his curiosity soon gets the better of him and he lowers himself through the trapdoor one more time. Why? No, don't. Uh... Sure enough, the same spine-chilling sound emanates out of the darkness. It's probably just like a, a creature. Ah, yeah. You idiot. You're such an idiot. You're such an idiot. Why would you go back down there? Equipment and leaves the property. Yes. Just forget it. Just go. <laughs> Don't stick your hand in there. Well, oh my at a god. House, read it up, peppermint the fox. Oh my. That dude was a menace. He surely has helped. <laughs> he's, help, he's helping me <laughs> clear my bowels. <laughs> Bloody hell. Oh my god. What was he doing in there? Like... You just heard that creepy ass sound and then he goes back in there. And then as soon as he hit, like, what did he expect? Like, he heard it the first time and it wasn't going to happen again. Surely it was reasonably foreseeable that if he went down there, there's a high chance that sound was going to happen again. And, you know, it's, it was going to freak him out. He shouldn't have gone back in there. As soon as he heard that noise, he was like jumping out of the place. What if something came and tried to grab his legs or something? I don't know. I'm I'm freaked out by that one. Oh Jesus! Like it's like I have a phobia. Like it's like I have a phobia. I I think I do have a phobia of the ocean. Like I was I was canoeing one day, right? Kayaking. We were in like New Zealand. We were like. I felt so cool. I was like kayaking. But as I was kayaking, or was it like this way? I think it was like this. As I was kayaking, sometimes my hand would like slightly dip under the water and it freaked. It freaked me out, man. I, c I can't explain it. it like, it, there was a feeling everywhere in my heart like oh, i can't deal with this i don't know what is underneath the surface and that was that is the most scariest thing i've ever felt like doing that but as long as i kept my hands above water i was okay but anything could have been underneath me oh my god the ocean is scary that's my phobia but it's the same concept like once you heard something and you're like scared you're not gonna go back down there like you know if you're already scared of it if you're trying to face your fears then stay there but like start jumping back out bloody menace anyway Fox caught something strange on camera take a look what is that the large white object is a propane tank okay there's also something else right next to it is it just At a first, photo it's hard to make out what exactly it could be it looks like it might be part of the tank, but if you zoom in, you can see that the foggy shape appears to have a head perched on top of a Ah, uh, I mean, you're reaching. It even has two sparkling eyes that are looking off to the side. I mean, that propane tank looks like a like two balls put together with a chode on top. <laughs> the thing on the side could be bushes or, you know, a gorilla or something. I, you know, it could be anything. That doesn't look like a propane tank to me. I was going to say it's like a, a really amateur cgi graphic design kind of thing like someone made like 3d spheres in, in the crappiest of softwares ever 
Many viewers thought the figure resembled a gorilla. Yeah, it's it called it. Suggested it might be a human attempting to steal propane. Ah, uh, you can tank. call it whatever you like. The original poster added that the figure vanished right after the photo was taken. Well, take it and again. Upon further inspection, they could see no footprints or signs of any kind that the figure was even there. Dude. So is this photo proof of a mysterious cryptid roaming the area, or is it something else entirely? Perhaps. Oh, what cryptid? What the hell's a cryptid? The image and let me know what your theories are in the comments down below. I mean, I think it's just pareidolia kind of effect. But abandoned places. But the Batman is here. Fear the Batman. Uh, I don't know. I I can't do a Batman expression. Expression impression. Trees in the dilapidated building seen in this dilapidated video is no exception. Mysterio there jail. Strange incidents here. It's even thought that one individual committed suicide in a downstairs room. YouTuber Very sad. Mysterio JL decides to investigate the premises for himself. Dude, could he be wearing that hat any lower? Like, what is he even seeing in there? Okay, I don't know this guy. No offense, but dude. You're wearing the hat like this, like that. Like, what are you seeing? I can barely see. I just, just I have to like lift my head up like that. As something grabs their attention, the camera holder inadvertently captures something unnerving on camera. What did we capture? A mysterious figure can be seen in the top right oh. window. At first, it's almost oh impossible my. to see. However, the kid moves. The footage, it becomes more obvious. Are you guys seeing this? Why, yeah, yeah. Okay, even if this is a hoax or fake or whatever, that kid. Oh my god, that kid is courageous. Like, I would be pooping my pants. Hence why I'm watching this stuff, you know, constipated, as I mentioned. I would be pooping my pants if it was, like, in a dark, dilapidated, derelict ruin of a building by myself. Or even if there were people further away from me and I'm in the dark. Like, forget that. Crazy? Crazy? Crazy! Next, they head upstairs. As they Aye. make their way along a dark, dilapidated hallway, hey. a chilling sound dilapidated. through the space. Uh, I li we, we like that word, slap time and I. Dilapidated. Oh my god. Okay, now I know it's fake. Mama? Mama? The uploader, the voice says Mama <laughs> in Spanish. Oh. That's kind of sad at the same time. Not long after, the investigators catch a second aye, aye, of the aye. mysterious figure they saw earlier. Where, where, where? Where? Oh! Can we go over there, please? Again, let's go, let's go. Needs to be brightened up, but as before, there's definitely some... Ah, he's just a little kid. He's having fun. Ah, look at him run. It's so cute. Is this just a squatter? He's just taking like up residence in the crumbling building. It is like proper like. It's so cute. Oh my god, that was hilarious. Could it be the spirit of a child that's calling out for their mama? I don't think so. Oh my god, that's such a like that's like a baby voice. Mama, mama. Ooh. I love space. UFO sightings I don't think so. Across the globe for centuries. Bloody hell. This video uploaded to YouTube by Arslan Warwick is supposedly the longest ever UFO recording made by a civilian. Really? Oh. Okay, can I just ask one question? Like, why is the image always really bad for UFOs? Why, like, why is it never clear cut? You know, it's like... Uh, do UFOs jam the signal or something? Like, do something with the device that just messes up? I have no idea. Insane. The camera holder notes that the orb-like object is difficult to see with the naked eye. 
We're going to see with the naked eye now. Ooh. Sun naked eye. Come on. Practically almost dark now. I love how these UFO Luckily, videos are. Oh. Camera. Oh my now god. Zoom. 9x. This is what iPhone maximum. Okay, it's a lot better than before. The fuzzy. Like what in the world is that? After some time, it appears as though it's actually hovering in place. Yeah. It's just sitting there. Oh, oh, if it was just a kite, which has been suggested, it would move more noticeably in the wind. This thing has been here for what is that? One hour, as I said before. Just here. At the very you guys ever in like a... On a plane, going to another country, you're, blub uh, bleh, you're above the clouds. And you just look at it and you're just like... Let it be me. Come on. Let me... Come on, just let me, le come on, let me just see one, okay? Anything, like, you know, anything just flying above the clouds, uh, that's, you know, not man-made. Or even, like, uh, somebody flying, like, sometimes I'll be there and I'll be like, oh, what if, like, a dragon, like, flies out of a cloud or something? That would be so insane, like, oh my god. But yeah, it's never, it's never happened, I've never... Never, never seen that. I wonder why. But this could be real. I don't know. There are several still images of the object. Here we can see that it has a distinctive dome shape, unlike any man-made craft. Oh, okay, yeah. I was gonna say it looks a bit like a pyramid. Viewers have praised the camera holder for their high-quality video work. Usually, you are ah! out of focus, making it difficult to get a good look at the actual object. I still, I disagree. Several viewers also mentioned that they too have seen similar objects in the sky recently. Right. I don't know. I can't tell what that is. I mean, why are you meant to do with such a video? Like, have you, you can hardly see anything. Info? If so, let us know your experience in the comments down below. I wish I had. Uh, maybe I did. I don't know. I might share a story with you one day. Stick around, subscribe, and like. You might hear about a story. Oh, look at this! Video posted to TikTok by Scary Central isn't super. Is he an archaeologist? Yeah, and it'll likely leave you unnerved. As the clip begins, the camera's focused on a patch of dirt or sand. There's not much to see until a paintbrush comes into view and begins to gently tap at the dirt. Okay. Take a look at what happens next. Ay caramba! Bloody hell, that was camouflaged. Crawlies, you've probably turned away. Wow. Have, however, oh my god. How big the spider is compared to the paintbrush. I mean, it looks kind of tough. This is supposedly a Sicaria spider, a type of arachnid that buries itself in the sand. Oh my and god. To its prey. The name in Latin means assassin, and its bite can be... Most likely I would step on that humans. before it did anything Just to me. Next time you go outside, this little guy could be right next to your foot, and you wouldn't even know. I don't think they're in the UK. I'm not too worried. Disgusting. Before we take a look at a strange little clip of unknown origins, okay. remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there, and turn on all channel notifications. Do that for that me as well. Be notified every time we drop our scary. I love it. Videos. I don't have to put this graphic in. Thank you, Slap Time. There's very little information available on this next video. It's behind it's you. To TikTok okay. By scary Central, but its origin is unknown. It shows a woman chatting on her cell phone as she walks by. She stops momentarily to say something to the camera holder. Okay. Oblivious to the fact that there might be danger in the vicinity. Right. Take a look at what happens next. <laughs> what are we going to see? Oh my mother! Oh my god. figure appears behind her. It lurches out of the darkness, reaching towards the unsuspecting woman. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that got me so good. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I think uh, you might have to wait a second. Uh, I, I might have to quickly just uh, go and clear my system. Just... God. Hiya. Okay, so... That got me good. I don't, I don't know why 
it just started lurching forward and I couldn't keep watching and it freaked me out. I don't know why. It was scary. It was so scary that I actually like yelled because of it. That's the first time I've ever done that, I think. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I've done it before. I can't remember. But now that I look at it again and again, it's just like a load of rubbish. But of it's like a, it's weird. Like the camera quality is it's like, I don't know, from like a time when Snapchat filters went there. But that that thing in the back just looks like a filter of some sort. Maybe it's like a fun house mirror and there's just a guy just walking towards and it looks like it's coming towards them. They simply run away. See what I mean? Like, like it's just the weirdest thing. As there's little information on this video, it's hard to tell just what it is we're seeing here. The figure looks distorted, almost as if it could yeah. be a reflection in a warped mirror. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take another look at the clip and let me know what you think. That's going on. what it might be, is it but from a movie, or is it something a little more sinister? I don't, I don't, down below. I don't know. So it's behind. Wait, hold on, you can hear like fun house music. So most likely that's what it is. Uh, I think so. I think that's what it is. Uh, what can I say? It was a good one. It was a good one. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I love that we're getting views and, you know, uh, people are liking my videos. I really appreciate it. The more you do, the more I'll make. So keep watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye. I got a big pimple here. Can you see? Oh my God. What is that? Look at this thing. What is that? Oh my God. It's right dead center as well. Can you see it? Wicked. Anyway.